Hey everyone and welcome to Razor's Edge. This is Razor and there has been a lot of hype around the dinosaurs. A lot of dinosaur games coming out and this is one I've covered for quite some time. This is Saurian. They just released a, about a one gig, one gig patch uh, for optimization. No new playable dinosaurs yet but uh, they're getting ready to do just that. So they added a lot of enhancements. I'm going to show some of those to you today. I believe we're about two on our dinosaur right now. Um, so let's hop in. Uh, first thing, we'll go into Encyclopedia. And we are playing the Dac Dactoraptor. Dactoraptor, I always say that wrong. But they basically it shows you the size of the creature at full growth next to a man and there is these are all dinosaurs that are in the game there's the Tyrannosaurus rex the Triceratops, and there, there's a lot of different creatures in there and this is our primary source of food right now uh at, at the age of two this guy we want to avoid he's pretty poisonous um but let, let's hop in let's show you uh I've showed some of these. These are the bo the various biomes that are in the game right now. And they've made a lot of optimizations to these. The transitions from ocean to drinking water is much different. Um, there's the bluffs. So that's what you'll primarily see in the game. So let's hop in and let's load my game and see. I am still juvenile at uh, two, eight, two years and there's my play time. So we'll go ahead and load in. And so far I haven't had any trouble with this patch at all. So there I am, raining. So Right off the bat, some of the features that they added. Let me take that sound down just a little bit. There we go. Much better. I think now I can talk. <laughs> Always have to worry about that. Am I too loud? So they added the ability. So if I hit Q, I go into a trot. And a lot, if you've watched the other videos I've done on this series, you'll see the sense of smell is the E key. It basically allows you to sense uh, predator or prey, uh, whether it's dead or alive, you can track. One thing they did add, if you hit the C key, you can, you can go into a sitting position. And now I can actually use my senses. You couldn't do that before. So we'll go ahead and hit C again. We'll get back up. And you can scroll in and out, and which is useful when you're looking, trying to watch your back. But one of the things that's nice is uh, they added the ability to change direction while you're in the air. So if I hit hop, um, oh, I gotta have some stamina here. That worked before. <laughs> you can actually turn as you're in the air. So we'll show you that a little bit later. Let's right now let's uh go look for some prey. We've been primarily hunting little lizards. They've added uh some new pack behavior with, with the various dinosaurs, which is really nice. So there you can see, and I do have a threat key, the F, and each dinosaur has his own threat signature move or sound. Okay, there's one of the poisonous uh, dinosaurs that I was talking about that I showed you in the encyclopedia, and we want to avoid him. Looks like a couple of them here, but there's what we're looking for. That guy right there, that's lunch. And they've made it a lot easier to actually get that prey, so we'll go ahead and eat that. 
and this should top us off. Now as you grow, you're going to need bigger and bigger prey. So we'll go ahead and we'll crouch down and we'll go to sleep. First thing we'll do, we'll use our senses and make sure we're clear. Oh, looks like a uh, some paratrikes up there. We are gonna have to go down and get some water. Oh, there's a packy too. So it's kind of nice. You can watch their behavior. That we've I've never seen dinosaurs in packs like this before. It's really nice. Very realistic. In their behavior. And I did get that move down. So if you sprint and you jump, you can turn. Oh, I just did it off camera. <laughs> Everything works when you're on. Trust me, it does work. You can actually tilt one direction or the other which it makes it nice when you're trying to target your prey because this th this uh, species would typically jump on the backs of their prey and and basically just beat them to death from their back so we're gonna run down here and the stamina bar is in the middle, as you can see, it's, uh, I'm maxed out. If I rest, you can see it grow back out. Let's make sure we don't have anything around us. These birds are, like, impossible to catch. I've caught them once. You can see their head actually follows them, which is kind of cute. Let's see? <laughs> We'll go down here and get a drink. And you can see in the blue car is going up. There we go. We'll travel down here. How old are we? Almost three. Oh, I got him. <laughs> I got you. You thought you had me, didn't you? Alright, so now we got a good meal. Topped off, we'll save. You can have multiple saves. It's a very large map. There, there's actually a coastline with an ocean. If you go back to some of my older videos, I've actually gone from gestation all the way to death uh, as the dinosaur ages. And I'm really looking forward to playing the next playable dinosaur, which I believe is going to be the trike. But not for sure yet. But I can't wait to play a T-Rex. <laughs> so this is on the Unity engine. So we'll pass some time here. I'm going to pause and we'll go down and check out some things. So a lot of the pathing and clipping has been corrected. Just really nice polishing. There's our prey right there, I think. Get a little closer. Uh, maybe not. No. <laughs> we'll leave him alone. Maybe later. We can show you, let's save real quick, just how poisonous this thing is. Now this game was intended, it, it is a game, but it's also to teach... Uh, kids and adults alike uh, about paleontology which is something that I really enjoy. I love simulators that teach people things. So 
We'll see if we can uh, jump on the back of this little dude. Well, he already notices I'm here. Got him. Nice. And I'm not poisoned. <laughs> So that's the maneuver that basically you'll see that bar that simulates balance on the back of a predator. The larger the prey, obviously, the harder it's going to be. Now if I hit the E key right now, you'll see that, well it hasn't happened yet, but eventually there will be a pink. And that's an odor that's being put off and that will attract, and I don't see it right now, but you will. Um, that other predators, uh, carnivores can pick up and sense on, and trust me, they will, they will show up. <laughs> and you can see here, here's some pathing. See the, the little gray dust of another, the presence of another dinosaur. See, so you, you do have a sense of smell. We just made a really good meal out of that. I'm actually shocked I got that. Alright, we're almost three. We do need some water, so let's run down here. I don't know how far I am. I don't know where I left off. How far I am from the coast. You'll know when you go to drink the water. Because you'll get thirsty. <laughs> now I did get hurt. You see my red card down there. That's my health. Here, I don't want to get bushwhacked. I save a lot in this game, especially at younger stages. Now, I've actually seen videos of people take trikes down at this age, so it's definitely something to master, but it's pretty cool to watch. And I've never taken a T-Rex down. I'll be the first one to admit it. <laughs> They're just too powerful. But I've seen it done. Okay, so you see now it's telling me I can grow. So all I have to do actually is literally lay down. And they've added achievements. So I just unlocked an achievement. So now I've reached the next gestation level. At age three, a little bit bigger. It's, it's kind of hard to tell the difference, but I, I am bigger and more powerful. The, the real way to tell is when you're up next to other prey. Just how big you are. And that puts you a notch up on the food chain. More powerful. Or actually a notch down. <laughs> There's some alligators. Corpses now do float. That was another fix. Oh, there's another... Uh, so alligators are really... Let's see, what's the actual term? Uh, I can't get in there from here, I don't think. No. They're the encyclopedia, the actual scientific name for those, but I'm not a paleontologist. I, I don't claim to be one. But they're very dangerous in the water. And if I get close, I mean, I'm dead. They'll play dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> he bit me too. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Nasty little thing. Nice move. I'll take this guy out. 
Oh, I'm missing. I might be uh, too damaged. a little bit of health. And you can hold your food. If you just hold it down, you can actually hold your food there and flip it up and then eat it. <laughs> and they fixed the food roll. They did that the last patch. That was uh, interesting. Chunks of food would roll down the hill. So I'd end up chasing my food. So as you can see, we're changing biomes now. And you you can go up the mountains into the, the water source is always going to be a concern. And our health is really low, so. See if we can't uh, see. You can see my health bar drop, or the food bar dropping really fast, and that's because I'm hurt. Now, also, when you're hurt and you're covered in blood, one one of the things you'll want to do because you're you are putting off an odor is you'll. Oh, I think he poisoned me. He did that daggone thing poisoned me. Crap. I am poisoned. Well, that's not good. Yep. I was poisoned by that lizard. Even though we won, we were poisoned. Well, that's bad, because, uh... We saved right over it. Let's see, where are we at on this save right here? Let's load that one. Right, we'll keep an eye on this one. How old am I? Age one. I wonder if I load two. Um, I'm going to have to actually be dead to... Well, that really annoys me. I can't get that to work while I'm recording. So now you know why I try to avoid those. Okay, Q, walk a little faster. I'll take you on a little trip here. Let me get up into a, some of the different biomes. I want to show those off. All right, there's a T-Rex right there. Now, one of the patch notes said that they'll ignore smaller prey. So let, let's test that theory out. <laughs> we'll kind of follow him. We're not too far from the water. That's the beast of the... That's the master. Oh, what we got here? Poisonous lizard. Not cool. We'll be going that way. They don't really seem to mess with you unless you mess with them. Activity out there. Did you get him? Yep, I got him. Alright, let's go 
back down to the water where the T-Rex was heading. Actually, let's save real quick. We'll do a new save. Probably going down here to hunt. And a lot of times you can pick up the scraps from their prey. Oh, he's in the water. You see him in there? I don't know if you can see that or not. It looks like we've got all kinds of predators down here. And we're just gonna go get a drink. And go hide. So they used to get stuck on trees. They fixed all that. Oh, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> wow. Uh oh. Here comes the packy. What was he doing? What are you thinking? See if this ignoring theory works. Yeah, he didn't come at me or anything, and left me a morsel. Let's get some water. Wow, that's pretty cool. See the odor that it's putting off. Look at all that. <laughs> That's good enough. Let's go up here and make sure it's safe. I can hear somebody threatening somebody off. Alright, let's just go down in here. Packies. See what looks like uh, some pink. So there's a corpse over here. Oh. What? <laughs> Look at him looking at me. Uh, I just want to eat. I'm not even hungry. I just need a drink. They're wondering what I'm doing, and I'm wondering what they're doing. Your sense of smell. Oh, behave. You hear him threatening me like I'm. You can see him threatening me. If I get close, he'll do it again. I'm in a different biome now. This is a nice little area for little lizards. 
I'm heading towards the coast. There he goes. <laughs> attack each other, they're not friendly, they're not he will attack me. We just keep moving on our way. A lot more activity than there was before. A lot of packs. And the reason I'm doing this video basically I've done a lot of coverage. It's it's to let you know Development takes time. And they're still working on this game. So I have high hopes that they will be able to finish it. And just the fact that they're still working on it assures me that they are doing just that. So anyway, I'm almost three again. Want this save? Not poison. I'm seeing some of the biomes. If you want to see them all, I encourage you to watch some of the other videos that I've done in the past. Um, they're not the greatest videos. I've that would be were some of the first ones that I did with some intro trailers and just horrible OBS settings. Learned a lot over the time as with anything and uh check the game out um go put it on your wish list so if you like these kind of uh simulators i encourage you to purchase it that helps uh um actually financially allow them to finish the development of the game so hopefully this was um useful for you and um and you enjoyed it and uh look forward to more coverage as they continue to develop the game and uh next time maybe we will be in another shell <laughs> playing another species so thanks for watching i appreciate it as always you guys are wonderful and uh Leave the developers feedback. I haven't seen a whole lot on the forums. They do have a Discord channel. I encourage you to hop in there. There's a lot of activity. The devs post uh, progress and screenshots and teasers of, of what they're doing and how the game's progressing along. So anyway, you guys have a great uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching again. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.